day we're out here scouting for antelope it's the ninth so season starts in six days which is awesome just coming out here to see if we can find any big bucks we got a nice buck spotted so that's exciting uh he's worth about 25 does <laughs> so lots of eyeballs but it gets me fired up for august 15th You're pretty agile in those crocs. <laughs> well, we found this water hole the other day. We were hoping it would hold water until season started, but it's dry. You can tell it just went dry. It's like still squishy mud in the bottom, but no drinkable water. So there's antelope tracks all over in here and an antelope bed just down the hill. So this would have been a good spot, but not now. So it would have been so good. You could have sat oh, right. Oh man, yeah. We weren't even going to put up a blind. We we're just going to sit up in that sagebrush, probably up in that further brush up there above that sagebrush and just sit there but shoot oh well on to the next spot so now I don't know what we're gonna do this is kind of my game plan for tomorrow but there's lots of antelope around First day of antelope season here in Idaho, archery antelope. So we are heading out to try to find well, there's some white tail, find some antelope, and uh, just about perfect timing. So we have no plan today. <laughs> the water hole I was going to sit on was totally dried up, and so we've decided just to drive around, glass, see where we can see some antelope, and hopefully put some stocks on bucks, and then. We might head up to the foothills. We got the side by side along today, just in case we need to use that, which we probably will. These roads out here are pretty rough. So anyway, got our coffee, trying to wake up. And yeah, time to go kill an antelope bug. Well, we made our little drive out and back, and now we're just gonna unload the side by side and start heading up into the foothills. We're hoping that the antelope are up there, especially if people are bumping them off the road. So hopefully get up to some high points and glass and maybe do a little hike. I don't know, see what we see. Oh, well, we found a nice water hole. There's a ton of water here. There's antelope just on this other ridge, but. I think there's a water hole down below them, which I want to glass and see if we can see it better. Just looking for antelope tracks here, but there's been so much cow sign, like all the cows have been tromping around. It's hard to tell if antelope have been here or not, so 
Anyway, I think we'll glass that direction. Here comes a cow right now. And uh, if there's water there, there's antelope right up above there. So I'm hoping maybe they'll come down and get a drink if we can set up on that water hole over there. So we'll see. But look for antelope sign here a little bit more and then maybe head down that way. Those antelope left, I don't know. If we bumped them, they're long, they're long ways over there, so it'd be crazy if they either saw us or heard the side by side or whatever, I don't know, or if they just walked over the hill for whatever reason, but. Probably a mile and a half away. Yeah, so, I mean, it could have been us, maybe. But that's a long ways over there, so. Back to square one. First we bumped the big group of bucks, then we bumped one single little bump, buck. <laughs> and, it's hard to say, bumping bucks. And then we watched the bigger group of bucks go up on the backside of these little hills over here. So, we're gonna try to sneak up over, see if we can't find them. Shoot one. That's the plan. Let's see, let's just look.
closest one that I could see was 100 yards. Shoot. So fun. Yeah, and we got that was pretty close for opening day. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks at or eleven. A hundred and under. I just couldn't see the ones that were under. I bet there were some probably around eighty. Yeah. But they're just tucked under the hill still. That biggest one was just staring at me at a hundred yards, just bedded there. It feels amazing. It's not even cold. Uh. Feel refreshed and ready for another stock? Yep. Here you go. On to the next one. We're just gonna go drive until we find another antelope, I think. 10 seconds, go. We drove up here, glassed a tank, gotta go check it out. Then we glassed a broken pipe with water spraying out of it. Real curious about that. Gonna go check that out. Done. Trucks. Some of them are muddy. Some muddy ones down there. There's a muddy ones right there. This is pipe fitting that's broken, I think, is all it is. It's got this like sprinkler going here basically. There's just angle of tracks everywhere in this little seep. So it's pretty crazy. We've been seeing a ton of bucks just over this hill. A couple guys have some blinds set out on the private land there, so decided to drive up around this out and I'm glad we did. And the next day, it's supposed to be what, 95? 90, yeah, 96 both days. 
96 both days, so super hot to make stocks. Also super hot to sit in a blind, but I'm gonna bring a cooler and ice and hopefully stay cool enough in there, so. Yeah, hopefully it'll work and hopefully a buck will come in. We, that was a nice buck that was in here this evening, so hopefully he's back one of those days. I painted this blind by hand with like the camo spray paint, did it as a, like a sagebrush camo, so I feel like it blends in fairly good, better than those real dark blinds. But we'll see, put it to the test tomorrow, I guess. So far all this blind's done is just get trampled by cows, so hopefully it still works. <laughs> just made it up to our spot, so we're gonna grab everything and hustle to our blind. Shooting lights in like 30 minutes, so not quite 25, so we gotta hustle. This is so hot already. We just walk like a mile up this road to our blind. I'm a sweat. We're gonna hurry up and get set up. It's already shooting light, so I didn't see any antelope bump out though, which is a good sign. Let's get down the floor. In there. I don't know if this blind's gonna bump him out or not. 
sitting in the blind, but didn't have any bucks come in. We saw a few bucks. Most of the antelope were coming down and getting our wind, so we blew most of them out, I think. But we had a little fawn come in and drink right out of the little sprinkler fountain, like a water fountain. It was pretty funny. But, um, yeah, kind of a hot, frustrating day. We're trying to figure out if we want to move our blind or what we want to do for tomorrow, so. We came out a little early, there were no more antelope around, so we're just trying to figure out a game plan for tomorrow morning. Good morning. We're back out here. We ended up moving our blind last night, kind of to the side of that, what we're calling the sprinkler. Um, we just felt like they were catching our wind, so we're hoping that they won't catch our wind as easy and they'll come down the ridge and take a drink and we'll be able to shoot a buck today. So we're going to sit there all day again, try our best, but... What's that on your back and why is it there? What's that on my, oh, we got pillows. Because those blind chairs suck, our backs hurt so bad. By the end of yesterday, our butts. So, we're gonna make it a little more comfy today, hopefully. But, not excited to sit there all day, today. But hopefully a buck comes in, so, and it'll be worth it. I almost forgot my cell phone. <laughs>
first shotgun gun. It was weird, he went straight down. Yeah, he went straight down and it was, it was a good shot though. That's crazy. Look how bent that is. I thought I'd shoot any buck, and we've been sitting in this blind for a couple of days. It's been super, super hot. We had some antelope come in this morning, just does and fawns, but everything's been really leery of our blind. We even had two bucks a little bit bigger than him come down the hill. They only got maybe 350 yards from us, and they were like, see ya. And so we were pretty low hopes. Jason has a sheep tag, so we don't have a ton of time to antelope pump this year we only had a few days left and uh, anyway so a little fawn came in and him and a couple does followed and so I was like yep I'm gonna shoot him so anyway 30 yards just drinking on the water hole and he went down right here so it's just a yearling but man he's gonna be tasty yes they will nice job thanks I got the heart on ice. We'll stick that in where I gutted him. Um, keep that part cooler on the way back home. So got him gutted right away and got the heart on ice because we love eating the heart. And so this guy should be absolutely delicious. Jason's bringing the pickup up right now. We're just gonna load him whole and get him in a cool spot. So main thing is we gotta get him into a cool spot fast because it's a bad thing about antelope season. It's usually really hot out. And antelope meat is delicious unless you let it go bad. And if you've ever had bad antelope meat, that's probably why it didn't taste good because antelope is seriously one of the most delicious meats ever. So we were about out of meat for the year. So the main, the main mission of this was to shoot any buck and get some meat. So um, it's an any antelope tag, but neither one of us want to shoot a doe. <laughs> What we got going on? Well, there's a rattlesnake under the blind. Just about picking up our blind. And he's in our blind. Wait, wait, I moved my pack and it must have been under my pack. This thing is just stuck in here. So I'm trying to get this out. It's either in our blind or under our blind. I just want to get cleaned up, get that antelope home. And we have a rattlesnake. We got a rattlesnake. How big of a rattlesnake? Little, probably three rattles and a button, but uh, it was... Big enough to not be fun to have in your blind. Yeah. <laughs> it's still in there somewhere. We'll probably see it in a minute. Yeah. Careful. Careful. There he is. He's under this corner. Back in this bush he goes. He was right there, right on the corner of our blind that whole time. <laughs> oh All my day. Gosh. A fighter to boot. He probably was in there when we crawled in there this morning. Oh, for, he was there, I bet, all day. Yeah. <laughs> Never rattled. No, not we said our I packs was... on him. There's probably one in your pack. There might be. <laughs> oh, hey. Do you see that? Yeah, he's not happy. He's like, all right, you interrupted my nap. But... Let's get him home. That was exciting for a minute. He, that my pack was sitting right on that bush. So I grabbed my pack off of it. I was standing right there. And that's crazy. That was. I'm glad neither of us got bit. Got an animal up in the back. Glad he didn't crawl on our blind while we were sitting there. Because that would have been 
real freaky. <laughs> Made it home. We had to put them in the side by side. Because <sighs> that's the only spot we had. So we're home. We're going to get them hung. Get them cooled out quick. <laughs>